Live now to CNN terrorism analyst Paul Cruikshank, who's in London. Paul, there's no evidence that the so-called White Widow had anything to do with the Kenya mall attack, at least none that we know of. So explain what's behind this new alert. Well, that's absolutely right, Jake. Uh, the Kenyans have not offered any evidence uh, to prove that she had a, a role uh, in this attack. And Al-Shabaab, on, on what appears to be its official uh, Twitter account, has denied that any women at all were involved uh, in the uh, attack. So this may actually be linked to sort of the intense uh, media speculation over the past few days, that that's the reason that the Kenyans are perhaps uh, taking this step now. Western intelligence believe that she's played more of a sort of a logistical role, a fundraising role for al-Shabaab in the region, rather than the frontline fighting role, Jake. What do we know about her last known whereabouts? What we know about her last uh, known whereabouts is, is late 2011. There was a, a raid on a safe house in Mombasa on the Kenyan uh, coast, and she actually managed to uh, evade uh, capture. They didn't get her. Uh, one of her associates was arrested, and he's now on trial in Mombasa for a plot in late 2011 uh, to attack a Nairobi shopping mall and also hotels in Mombasa, Jake. And how much stock do investigators put into this claim from the Al-Shabaab Twitter account uh, denying that any women were involved in the Kenya attack? It's a Twitter account, and who knows if they're telling the truth? Well, this is the very same Twitter account which released an audio statement from the leader of al-Shabaab last night, Mukta al-Zabair. So uh, experts are increasingly confident that this particular Twitter account is actually uh, authentic, despite many doubts this week over the authenticity of other Twitter accounts used by the group, Jake. Paul Crookshank, thank you so much.